so hello and what's up everybody welcome back to screen technicals today in this video we are going to start our new project on django that is we are going to build a ecom website using django for a pizza corner and this video has a simple prerequisite you should know the basics of django such as how to create an app how to create the project how to configure settings rather if you don't know about that then i will be covering that even in this tutorial but if you have watched my django in one video complete video then it will be pretty much easier for you to understand so without any more wasting the time in talking so let's uh, start the overview of the project which we are going to create so this is the website which we are going to create and you can see i have hosted this on heroku by the way if you don't know what is heroku is then i will be telling you at the last of this series when we will be deploying our website right but not right now so first i want to give you an overview right so at this point you are thinking that you have to write a lot of css or javascript for the front end part no the answer is no because you don't have to write a single line of css or javascript because uh, i will be telling you that on this series right but for right now uh, let's see the functionalities that this website contains so if you click on this it will just refresh the page right now if i click on this menu page uh, you can see uh, it is taking time because it is hosted right so here you can see i have you can say uh, five pizzas let's say i want to eat this one so click on this you can see at this point this counters from zero uh, it get increased to one let's say if i click again on this one it will increase to two right and if i want this one then it will go for three right now if i click on this orders now here you're going to see this the pizza name the description the quantity the price and these things so if i click on this it will just increment the value of the quantity by one right and if i click on this it will just going to delete that because um, zero quantity means we don't need that pizza right and if i click on this delete it is going to delete this thing and if i click on this delete all then it is going to delete all these things right now let's order something so click on this click on this click on this it's taking some time right now click on the orders and let's say i want this to increase this by two so do i need three pizzas i need two pizzas from this and let's say now i'm going to confirm my order now here you can see your order has been confirmed successfully and here you need to see this pizza name this pizza quantity pizza price and your total price so this is a type of bill right now one thing i want to show you at this point uh, at this point if you click on this profile first so you can see i am just logged in as an admin user and as i did not mention any type of you can say um, email or you can say um, some first name to the my admin so it's not going to show that right and here you can see this uh, my profile picture if i want to change this i can just click on that and click on this choose file and let's say um, i'm choosing any of this file let's say um, let's see some pics let's see this one and I click on this upload now you can see this uh, it takes some time because it is hosted so it takes some time to load the image so let's see now you can see my profile picture has been updated at this point so this is one more functionality right now here i can even say um write my address for i know it is india so i'll just leave it as it is as that right and i want to show one more thing as i am you can say logged in as the admin so i can see uh how much orders do i have you can say i'm not talking about the django admin but i am talking about a custom you can say a customized django admin so when i write here pizza then this this website link and write in here slash dashboard just like this hit enter and at this point you can see uh, the admin is me i have already you can say three pizzas and this jane doe has ordered you can say you can say four pizzas at this point okay total quantity is four this one pizza and let's say if i click on this deliver option it will get delivered and this these are the pizzas which we have you can say um you can see at this point not profile wise that orders at this point so these are the pizzas two three one which you are going to see 
on the dashboard right just let open the dashboard first this one two three one right now let's say um, if I click on this and let's have click on this deliver option then it will get deleted from the you can say uh, from my database so if click on this I will also click on the then click on the deliver and same thing at this point even click on the deliver option and you can see this in order select right if I click on this contact list nothing to show and this feedback will show nothing because this is a task for you to do right now if I search for let's say if I search for here uh, it is not going to show anything because um, we don't have any type of orders so let's create more orders so let's go to the menu and you can say it has become zero again so let's click on this click on this I have ordered two pieces at this point click on the orders let's confirm the order and let's come to this point and refresh this page and here if I write let's say um, as we have ordered you can say American pizza so you right here let's say A and hit enter it's going to show um, the you can say both my orders because both my orders contain the letter A that's how it's working so it also contain the American if I copy this one and paste this at this point and hit enter then it's going to show me only this American pizza just like this so you can see you click on this element it's going to show me this thing the American pizza just like that click on still but it will just vanish right now here we have created the contact page if I go to the contact page and um, let's say click on this and let's say I'm writing something just like this and this submit now go to the this point and click on this contact list here you're going to find this one and if I click on this it's going to show me this thing email but there is no email so it's not going to show me my email but it's going to show my show me the query if I click on this delete option then it is going to delete this um, contact list right so this is somehow useful to the owner of the website right now even we have the admin panel right there is a p slash this is admin but um, you can say uh, it is more convenient for the you can say a non coding or I guess a non coder type of people right there is the owner maybe so that, that's fine for the owner and this is for the developers right so this one. now I, I will come to here at this point and if I click on the profile page and then let's wait for the profile to be open and if I click on you can see this logout option at this point then it's going to direct me to the home page and if I click on this login right now I can see I have the login button so before you can log in if I will try to go to the profile page just like this and hit enter um, it will throw me to the you can say the home page so and if even if I want to try to go to the dashboard and it's not going to allow me to the dashboard right so this is the you can say purpose or you can say a security check that we have added right now if I click on this login and let's say create uh, you can say just go for the sign up right and let's get creating um, let's say Ben let's say 10 username will be ben10 um, let's say test 4 creating the password let's say um, 1234 and this one also 1234 and click on the submit and let's see we are successfully logged in right now close this one neighbor let's close this one now if I go to my profile page as Ben 10 you can say and one more thing you have noticed we are directly logged in right this means when I'm just sign up you can say I'm just signing into my you can say um, when I'm just doing the sign up work after uh, submitting my you can say request I get automatically logged in we don't have to manually again go to the login page and just logged in right uh, to the user right and even uh, you can say at this point uh, as the, you can see at this point the full name the username and the email 
and as there is no address if i will try to go to the menu so it's going to show nothing if i click on this order now button right now so it will it should show a pop up at this point so let's see you can see this point is redirecting me to the profile page and asking me to pick and say this please provide a address right so through this one let's provide the address to this that's uh, i'm just providing it an address of um, new york just like that and okay it's y o r k u now let's say upload address set right close this one now if i want i can just you can say this is a default you can say profile picture if i want i can just add a profile picture to um, this even so let's say um, i'm adding this one upload so it will upload that image to this point so this is how it's working right um so we are going to build this um in this series so what you have to do is you have to subscribe to the channel and i can save the playlist right save the playlist where i will be um you can say giving this videos right so the link of the playlist will be in the description box so don't forget to save that because it might you can say get lost because there are a lot of videos on youtube right so at this point you can see this thing right so uh, this is how it's working and there's nothing in the about page because this will be again a task for you to do right so i just mentioned the uh, you can see url to this uh, and this as same so this will be a task for you to do uh, at the end of the series i will be telling you uh, about your task that is this one and again you have to create this feedback so at the last of the video you can do that right so in this video i have given you the overview or you can say the demo of the website which we are going to build so thanks for watching this video guys and i will see you in the next video till then take care